this is Tridip and you are watching a brand new episode of Learn with Tridip. We are all aware of the term called augmented reality or AR. Whether or not we actually understand what it does. Definitely people who understand technology have heard about it and know what AR does. However, for common people who are not technologically savvy, for them augmented reality overlays virtual world content over real world. Overlays can be images, animation, videos or even simple text that gives relevant information overlaid over physical content. Many of you must have seen National Geographic AR video or the Dubai Snow World AR video and at many reality trade shows where realtors demonstrate their properties superimposed on a platform in large scale. In 2021, we expect a huge surge of AR content as the top three leaders, Adobe, Facebook and Google are investing huge in this field. Not to mention, augmented reality is going to be easy to create and a household name very soon. In this video, I will try to create a quick air scene and little bit of interactivity using Adobe Aero right from my iPad and will show you how easily we can create air stuff to showcase our art or idea. But before we deep dive, kindly like, share and comment on the video and if you are new to this channel, can you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon if you have already not done so. so Without much ado, let's get started. So here it goes. I have the Adobe Aero opened on my iPad. If you see, there is a create new link that asks you to find the surface. So that is the first step of my augmented reality environment creation. If you see, I'm just moving the surface and it is creating horizontal surface on my tabletop. Surface found, I click and see there is this honeycomb sort of surface that has been created on my tabletop. That is the first sign of augmented reality starting on your tabletop. For the sake of this presentation, I will be using already created assets from the library, the Aero library. We are going to create an origami forest right on my tabletop. So here is my honeycomb base layer where I will be putting all my augmented reality assets. So once the honeycomb is selected, I click on this plus sign over here, go to the starter asset pack and choose origami forest pack. Since it is forest, I will just go and choose the first autumn trees. See the autumn tree has already come on the platform and it is asking me to tap and place asset. So I will click and I will place the asset where I want. Simple. If I want to rotate it, I will click on this and I can rotate it like this. Pretty simple, right? Okay. So now the next one I will put, I will put some more trees over here. So we'll again go to origami tree pack and put another tree over here. So I place, I move this tree from here to here and I can actually rotate it in a different direction. Also, I will put some more trees to sh show it like a forest. I will go to origami forest pack and I will again create, take a autumn tree, move it this side. If I want to rotate it, I will rotate a bit like this. If I want to move it a bit back, I can push it back and also I can push it in the x-axis. Lovely. So let's now uh, create a lake. I will just go to origami forest pack and I will click on the lake. Tap to place the asset. And I will also scale this little bit so that It looks like a big lake. 
also I will move this thing so that it does not fall inside the trees lovely now I will also create some clouds I click on the cloud and take it up click on the move I can bring it a bit front take it to the other side I can also scale it lovely so I can also create as much as clouds as possible but for the time being I will only keep one cloud I will go to the origami and now click on an animated lion as an object the king of the forest the lion king so I can always remember to keep things in proportion I can move this lion from here to here as if the line is just returning after having some water from the lake perfect and these are all happening on my tabletop that's the magic of real time augmented reality I will click under and I will take a hummingbird I really like hummingbirds a lot this so small bird having so much of life and I will move it in this direction and scale it a bit so that it looks proportion you can see the entire screen I guess I'll move the hummingbird a bit so that all the things can be seen for the sake of they're showing you the display I am just disproportionately scaling the things just so that you guys can actually see the each and every elements right lovely also I will put a hilltop you can move this towards my book lovely isn't it so this is my scene for the time being for the sake of experiments for the sake of this tutorial I will not keep any more um, elements on the screen but I will animate certain things like this lion for this it is very easy you just go to behavior click on this trigger click on tap that when I will tap on the lion it will animate I'll click on action and I will say play animation see what is the animation that the line will play great also I want on click this hummingbird also will animate I click on this trigger of interactivity click on trigger tap and I click on action and play animation lovely isn't it
lovely so that's it i will not create too many stuffs for the time being and we will just go to preview there is an option that comes in the right hand side where you can actually animate and record at the same time so let's see if i click on the lion what it does wow it roars and it will go on roaring as much as you click and what happens to the hummingbird oh, wow it starts flattering its wings and dancing with joy isn't this unbelievable and how much time did i take it to create this awesome stuff right on my desktop the best thing is that now you can record you can also share this entire thing as a behance project you can share this link to your friends so that they can also see this thing from their mobile devices at this point of time only iphones and ipads can actually showcase aero content but the time is not very far when you can actually see a lot of aero content in your um windows or your android devices so you can edit as many times so if i want again to have a another rock i can also do that and i can scale this rock a bit see the light it actually takes the ambient light where it is kept so this is real world see there are different types of augmented reality stuff that is possible which actually triggers from a pattern or a texture but if you see over here i have used none i have just used my desktop of my tabletop as the surface area and i am augmenting stuff at real time you can also create your 3d based animated content and you can import in the aero environment so this is a complete scene before ending the video i would also like to show you how nowadays i augment my abstract painting on anybody's tabletop i will show i will just again as usual i have scanned my surface and surface is found if you see this is my painting my abstract painting that is projected on my table top these are the abstract painting and if you see i can obviously move them back and forth as i wish to if i want to put a uh, any other action over here i have actually kept an action to follow the camera so they are following the camera you will always find one angle of this painting wherever you are going so this is an abstract painting right from procreate to 
an augmented reality environment. So that's all folks. Hope you have seen how easy now it has been to create amazing AR content right from your iPad or MacBook Pro. Though Adobe Aero is currently available for iOS, the time is not far when Aero will be available for Windows and Android devices as well. Also, there are various online platforms available nowadays that can help you create fantastic AR content online. What are you waiting for? Start Aero and start creating awesome AR content now. Before we end this video, a gentle appeal to like, share and comment on this video and subscribe to the channel if you have already not done so. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get all the notifications as soon as a video goes live. Till we meet again, goodbye and God bless.